check this out, boys. Welcome to Sudan University. stream. I'm uh, at the north gate of my university in Fudan where I used to study. Security is super tight. It used to not have any security really. There was a lady that would just yell at you and say, let me see your room key. No, no. Uh -huh. But now there's like freaking four security guards and you gotta scan your eyelids and uh, interesting though, you know, it's good to have a safe campus. So I have not been back to my campus in four years, I guess. And uh, curious to go take a peek. I want to see if the laundry lady is working today. I want to see if the same people are working at like the gym and see if they remember Xiaomiento, which is my Chinese name that I went by. So we're going to take a peek around, see what's new, see what's the same. I'm going to show you guys around. We've done this one or, once or twice on stream before. Oh, I think I got approved. Oh, push it, come on. All right, so we just got inside. Wow. So this is a huge uh, building here. This is for the rich foreigner students. I used to stay in here, 301, right here, 301, baby. This is my first dorm room ever, right there. But it looks like this is all closed off. Maybe they're remodeling the whole thing. Damn. We have to go see if the laundry ladies here. It's the first thing. Main here. Yes. Oh! Oh, yeah! You saw that! Oh, it's on you. Oh, no, she's not here. No. Hello. Hello. I'm a question. I have four years no life without <笑>就是没有来福丹就是我刚回来的就是看我的因为我以前在这里读书了这个洗衣服阿姨还在吗嗯喜欢阿姨不在了读书了 no, no. 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 Mm. <laughs> no! Damn, dude, they all retired. No! <coughs> this is the uh, main campus, North Campus. Wow, look at the colors. Dormitories for the students, too. There's a lot more security than there used to be. This is the Shitang. This is the uh, cafeteria for the North Campus. Keep in mind that this university is like top three in China. To get in university in China, it's not just like anyone can go. You have to test into it. So the people that go to Fudan that are Chinese are generally like the top students in China. Super, super smart people. It's kind of like going to kind of like Berkeley or something in US, I guess. That's why I used to play some Yu Mao Chou at the top there in the gym, second floor. They have a big volleyball and badminton and kung fu area up there. Well, here's another very important aspect of Fudan for me. This is the uh, gymnasium of the North Campus. I used to come here all the time to work out in the really f***y gym equipment, which I hope they hopefully changed it out by now. This is also the ping pong room is right here. I used to play ping pong all the time. Let's go take a look. Dude, this is it right here, man. I have so many videos here. Guys, easy. All right, the gym looks like it got a little bit better. New and improved. No more yellow, rusty equipment. The indoor b-ball courts. They usually weren't open before. Got like always practices and stuff. Got the badminton here. Oh, well, well, well. It's like a dance studio up here, if I remember correctly. Yep. Over here is like this big open volleyball. There it is. And then people practice like uh, kung fu on that green mat over there, like backflips and stuff. Oh, these guys are good. Oh, nice. We'll come back in a little bit. Let me go get some food. I need to get some food in my belly. Oh, wait, there's a famous place over here from the uh, muscle up video or the pull up video. If anyone's curious, there was a video filmed once of me saying something like, hey, you wanna know how I got these muscles? Well, it was filmed right here. There it is. Just like this. God damn it. I'm gonna regret this. Alright, don't worry about the form. Okay, it's just for fun, okay? Oh, classic. So yeah, this is the um, 
student cafeteria. There's a funny video. There was a huge like storm that came through and it flooded like so much of Shanghai and the water here was actually like up to your knees. The whole, this whole courtyard was flooded and there was a, there was like motherfuckers riding their bike like the water was like up to the wheel, riding their bike through the water to go to class. And then the freaking Shushu, the freaking uncle was in a boat trying to catch all the koi fish. Cause the koi fish were like out of the pond. They're like swimming over here. It's like a nice entrance to the uh, cafeteria right here. Damn, they didn't used to have this like whole nice area. There's the koi fish. Holy shit, it's nice. Dude, this is way better than before. What the hell? This is the wee coffee club. It's like the Western food of the campus. That was whack. They got a piano in here, dude. Fudan is freaking coming up, dude. Oh my God, so you can see the prices of stuff right here, chat. Wow, it's ranging from like basically 30 cents to a dollar for the entrees. It's crazy. Oh my God, they used to have this like uncle guy that would scrape the dishes. It was so gross. Now it's all automated. Looks like you go here, you rinse your thing, and then you put it on like a a return thing. I just realized I'm probably 10 years older than all these people in here. Let me get a little snack here real quick. Ooh, a banana. I'll just take this one. Chocolate oat milk. Oh, hey little turtle, where are you going? So weird being here. It's like going back to a level in a campaign you already beat after a patch update. Oh, it's okay, no problem. Quintana, you know? Oh, you speak Korean and Nope, not really. Yeah. Are you doing a live stream though? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on Twitch. Oh, Twitch? Yeah, Twitch, yeah. Gamer? No. I do like uh, travel streams. So actually, I, I used to go to Fudan like eight years ago. Yeah. And now I'm just coming back to visit and see what's different. Are you, are you guys all studying Chinese? Or like uh, uh we're, yes. But Business we're basically Chinese. all Business Chinese, wow. Basically all fluent in Chinese. Damn, that's cool. Yeah, I came here for the Chinese program so I was like oh, not so good, yeah. Okay, so that was like a, a year or two years? Uh two years, yeah. Alright. Bye bye. You too. You know the the association I got my um, scholarship from to come to China for two years, I talked to them like a couple months ago. And they told me like, hey, if you ever want to go back to study Chinese in China, like you can go back on the same scholarship anytime, just let us know. You can go until you're 35. Maybe I need to improve my Chinese. All right, should we go for a walk? Let's go continue this journey. Yeah, so here's some more basketball courts. I didn't really come to these ones. I should have played more basketball, but I was working out and drinking beer at the time. Actually, this did used to be tennis courts because there was multiple tennis courts, but now there's only one. Two stories about the tennis courts here in Fudan. One, this is where we used to play tennis with Tip, No Sleep TV. Good times back in the old days. And two, this is, uh, I was playing tennis here with Tip when this random lady approached me and said, hey, are you, where are you from? I was like, America? She's like, do you teach English? And I was like, hmm, I can. She's like, ah, my, uh, my brother works for a robotics company in Shanghai and they need to be taught English every Saturday for a couple hours, just conversational English for meeting with English companies. Can you do that? And I was like, yeah. She's like, yeah, they pay about $100 an hour. I was like, yeah, I can do that. And I ended up teaching English to a, the C-level executives of a robotics company that worked with the government every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. here on campus. I was doing fucking hooked on phonics, straight faced, not a joke with like 45 year old robotics engineers. Guys, check this out. This is the famous Guanghua Lo. I think it's the tallest tower in any university in Asia or the world. I don't remember that. You guys can look that up. Look at that. Yeah, so dude, we used to go up there. Dude, we had like freaking spots at the top. You can take the elevator like the 31st or 33rd floor. And then like you can take the stairs up two more floors and there's like a balcony that was always closed. But up there on the on the pillars area, you can go up there. There's like a nice viewing deck. It's good time. It's old, it's old times, you know. This is it. It's actually a really beautiful building. So now we're heading towards the main entrance of the north campus which is the main campus i go right down here check this out boys welcome to fudan university oh yeah look at this site and a lot has changed a lot a lot you never just sit down on grass and just you know touch grass <laughs> nice let's get up let's get out of here so 
we'll come back to this. I want to go check out the main. Um, I want to check out the main gate real quick. Oh, here it is. This is the famous Fudan main entrance here with my man, Mr. Mao. What's up, Mr. Mao? Well, I think this is the old gate, but I don't want to go outside because I have to sign back in. And the process to get into the university is like crazy. Now, look at this. We're going to go inside this uh, awesome cafeteria. This is like, this is the older cafeteria. This is the cafeteria from the famous the Ass Cliff. Ass tastes like pennies. Interesting. I never, had, I never ate ass. You did? No, no. She's scared. Why? I probably will at one point. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why is she looking at me like that? I don't know. Whose ass are you going to eat? I don't know. Who's what? Of course, eat? me. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why <laughs> are you doing this? <laughs> That's true, right? If you want to eat ass, okay, if right. you going to eat Can we just one day, water? it's supposed to be me, right? No? Okay. Someone else? <laughs> Who? I wish water was here. We could do a follow-up clip. So they changed some of the menu stuff. Looks like the POS system's changed. You can probably use Drifa Boss. So basically it's like cafeteria style. You just come here and choose what you want. You got the pork with the um, winter melon. They got the ching tai. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Sorry. Oh. 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 I got Fancha Chow Dan and I got rice. The nice girl let me pay on her student card and I just paid her back with uh, Alipay. And the total price for this little snacky is 40 cents US. Watch this show. Oh man, it's awesome, it's so good. Man, that was the best 40 cents I've ever spent. All right, guys, we're gonna try something special here. Does anyone in the chat have WeChat? I don't have any money in my WeChat account, so if you could maybe just scan this. <laughs> Wait. Oh. oh. Oh wait, it's not a vending machine. It's like a magnet. Thank you, whoever bought me this. Goodbye, Guang Hello. Goodbye, Fudan Dashie. Okay guys, we are now leaving Fudan University and we are heading to a street which was just developing when actually when I was here eight years ago that I heard is like one of the more popular streets nowadays. It's called Da Felu, which literally means University Avenue or University Street. And the street will actually take us all the way to the big mall area called Wu Jiao Chang, which is a huge mall area with five malls connected. It's insane. One of my fond memories is that as a university student, I didn't have a lot of money. So I would generally eat at the school or eat like thousands at the freaking family mart. I wasn't eating a lot of food that would cost $20 a meal. However, there was a spot right here. It was called Pancake Day. It was basically a sh IHOP and IHOP's already pretty sh Every once in a while when we saved up enough of our Zhang Shui money, our freaking scholarship money, we would come here on like a Sunday with my friends and we would get pancakes and bacon and eggs. And it's like a fond memory of mine because we, we would have to like save up our money. This does not even feel like we're in friggin' Shanghai right now, dude. This feels like I'm in West Hollywood, or like I'm in... It's crazy. This does not feel like Shanghai. So what's cool about this mall, it's just like a couple blocks away from Fudan, so you get like a lot of... You know, if you're a university student at Fudan, you come here. And I remember coming here to Wu Jiao Chang. It was still developing some of the malls. And like, I found a Walmart, and I was like, what the f***? They got Walmart in China? Oh, sh**. And then I felt at home as an American. I came to China scared, dude. I packed shampoo, I packed soap, I put on like, I brought everything. I didn't think they had anything in China. I thought I was going to some third world country. That's how uninformed I was when I came here. But I came here and I learned real quick. Look at this place, dude. So we're currently in the hub. There's a big lit up bean above me with all the, this is all the cars are driving through here. So look at this circular hub. That's so, there's like a three a different numbered exits. And every exit goes to a different mall, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a fucking gateway to a server. Yeah, so it's like a portal. <laughs> Go in one exit, it's a portal to the mall. We never had the. Oh. Oh, God. <sighs> in the USA, Five Guys' is top burger place in Whataburger is the second. I can tell you have bad taste because you're not a subscriber of my stream. All right, we're gonna go to a uh, little dinner. 
Try to look at this, guys. This is the Wuja Chong from the outside. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there's no one here. Oh, I got hot things. Me neither. That's okay. Oh, it's here. Oh, it's here. Oh my god, I already said, yeah, I would love to be, I would be Poke, if I could make one third of what I make right now, maybe even one fourth, I would be Poke, if I could be like Pokemon's cameraman. I'd love to be my awesome. cameraman. I'd love to be something else. Ooh. Ooh. My Can someone is, tell me what the my hell? Can someone please Google, why are girlfriends obsessed with putting their fingers up their boyfriend's assholes? <laughs> yeah, like Water's never actually successfully put her finger in my butthole, but it's like a thing that it's like always trying, trying to, to do. Trying to like put it in touch. Like walking upstairs, finger in the butt. Ooh. Out of the shower, Ooh. finger in the butt. Walking on streaming, Ooh. finger in the butt. Ooh, leather seats. Huh. This smells Ooh. Well, chat, I do want to say thank you guys all for hanging uh, today. So much has changed. It was kind of crazy to see just how much everything changed. Unfortunately, some of our old friends were not there. It feels bad, man. I want to say bye-bye.